I wanted to report on the latest update of what's going on with the Jews attempting to sacrifice a Paschal lamb up on the Temple Mount this year. And uh, Jay Post posted, Temple Mount activists detained for plan to sacrifice lamb on Temple Mount. The Jerusalem District of Israel Police have completed their preparations for the Passover and Easter holidays. And this was just posted April 3rd. The head of the Returning to the Mount movement, Raphael Morris, was detained on Monday on suspicion that he was going to try and sacrifice the Paschal sacrifice on the Temple Mount as police completed their preparations ahead of the Passover holiday, which will be began on Wednesday evening. The police officers who detained Morris informed him that they were going to search his home as well. As it does every year, the Returning to the Mount movement announced last week that it was offering rewards of tens of thousands of shekels for anyone who attempts or succeeds to sacrifice a Paschal lamb on the Temple Mount. Last week, 15 rabbis sent a letter to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and National Security Minister Itmar Ben-Gavir calling on them to allow the Paschal sacrifice this year. Two activists from the movement were arrested last month after putting up notices in Arabic in the old city of Jerusalem offering payment to anyone willing to store lambs near the Temple Mount for the Paschal sacrifice. Additionally, on Monday, Otsman Yehudit M.K. Lemor Sanhar Melech called on the government to allow Jews to conduct the Paschal sacrifice on the Temple Mount this year. The Hanenu Legal and Organization announced on Monday that three Temple Mount activists filed a lawsuit for NIS 133,000 against the police and the Israel Prison Services for their conduct against Temple Mount activists who tried to bring the Paschal sacrifice. Makes me wonder if there's gonna be something with 144,000 eventually. The activists claimed that they were subjected to invasive searches, including strip searches, and were handcuffed for long periods. This is offensive and outrageous conduct that is taken against Temple Mount activists year after year, and without any legal justification, said Hanenu attorney Iladi Wiesel. This is serious humiliation and a trampling of rights whose sole purpose is to break the spirit of the Temple Mount activists, a purpose which, in the eyes of the police and the prison services, sanctifies all means and justifies the trampling of the provisions of the law and the rulings. The Jerusalem District of Israel Police have completed their preparations for the Passover and Easter holidays and will work to ensure the freedom of worship and safety of citizens in the city, the police announced Monday. Thousands of police officers from the Jerusalem District will work with the border police officers, volunteers, and reinforcements throughout the city. This year, Passover, Easter, and Ramadan overlap. Police will work to help direct vehicle and pedestrian traffic. The priestly blessing, which takes place during the intermediate days of Passover, will take place on the morning of April 9th. Police will intensify their operations in the Old City and nearby areas. We call on the public to respect the holidays and others, to celebrate, pray, travel, and observe the sanctity and joy of the holidays according to the law and obey the police officer's instructions. Anyone who takes advantage of the holidays to behave violently or incite violence will be dealt with by all the tools at our disposal, said the police. Together we can ensure that the holidays will be held in a normal, safe manner while maintaining the unique fabric of life in the city of Jerusalem. So, leading rabbis called on Israel's most religious government ever to finally allow the Passover sacrifice at Judaism's holiest site. And this was reported three days ago that 15 prominent rabbis had called upon Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to open the gates of the Temple Mount to Jewish religious observance 
this coming week. In particular, they want to offer a Passover sacrifice on the Temple Mount when the biblical holiday begins on Wednesday evening. We have been blessed by God's grace that the place of the temple is under Jewish control, and to the extent that the state of Israel sees the offering of the Passover sacrifice as a national interest first and foremost, as it should be, we want to offer the Passover sacrifice in its rightful place and at its rightful time, despite all the difficulties, the rabbis wrote in a letter addressed to the prime minister and his minister of national security, Itmar ben Gavir. The difficulties to which they referred to have to do primarily with the expected violent reaction of the Muslim world, which today sees the Temple Mount as Islam's third holiest site, blah, blah, blah. The rabbis noted that the rulings of Jewish sages throughout the centuries were in favor of offering the Passover sacrifice even before the third temple is built. Every Passover Eve, a group of Temple Mount activists tries to enter the sacred compound in order to offer a Passover sacrifice in accordance with biblical law, but the Israel police is always prepared and has never allowed this to occur. The calls for a renewal of biblical ceremony and customs are usually met with a hostile reaction by those secular Israelis who are paying attention giving voice to three displeasure, um, I mean, giving voice to their displeasure this year was former Prime Minister Ehud Barak, who accused Netanyahu and his government of seeking to destroy the Al-Aqsa Mosque at the southern end of the Temple Mount and start a war with the entire Muslim world, which I don't believe that's true. But this, despite the fact that Netanyahu has not and most certainly won't respond to the rabbi's letter and that the police under his government orders will prevent a Passover sacrifice from being conducted on top of the Temple Mount. In a rambling interview with the UK-based think tank Chatham House, Barack asserted that Kippa wearing religious Jews like Ben Gavir want to turn a purely political conflict with the Palestinians into a religious war against Islam as a whole. Overtly secular Israelis like Barack have long refused to acknowledge that the Jewish state's fight for survival is a religious war and that Muslims have always viewed it as such. He believes that it will only become a religious war if people like Ben Gavir are permitted to implement something like old traditions, traditions of the Torah, of slaughtering goats and sheep for sacrifices. So, you know, <clears throat> it's really interesting that they're trying to attempt to do this again this year. So, one of the things I just said in my last video is these to them are like dress rehearsals attempting to get this started. But the truth of the matter is, is that the Jews, the ultra Orthodox, they fully believe that the red, he the red heifer sacrifice is what is going to start the temple service and the official start of the sacrificial system all over again. And they proclaimed on CBN, the rabbis told them that the red heifer would be ready by Passover of next year, 2024, to Shavuot of 2024. More than likely Passover, I would presume, since that's, you know, the time of the Paschal sacrifice. So we know that Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, but we know that Israel is going to have the seven-year time of Jacob's trouble, and they're going to put a king on that throne, and I believe that all of these things will come to pass when they let their um, anointed, chosen, earthly king to perform that red heifer sacrifice. And then from there, that is the start of the temple service. Whether or not the temple's built or not yet, that will allow the ashes of the red heifer to be sprinkled on the Jewish people for purity, supposedly, to cleanse them from their sins, uh, according to what they believe. And this will allow them to start performing the temple sacrifices all over again. So even if they do not get to do the sacrifice actually on the Temple Mount again this year, 
it's more than likely next year it's going to be the year that it does happen but we are going to be uh, observing the Passover with uh, remembering the communion service of the matzah and the wine in the Passover Seder that Jesus betrothed us to himself with his eternal covenant of eternal life at the um, paying the bride's price before he died, was buried and resurrected to eternal life. And all the other people that came up out of their graves at that time and entered into the city of Jerusalem showed that he was God who had come to tabernacle with his people. He was the Passover lamb, the pure spotless lamb that had no sin, and he reversed the curse of Adam and Eve so we can follow him and give our hearts and souls to him so he will breathe his breath of eternal life through his Holy Spirit in us and seal us for eternal life. And that's why you need to give your life to him. And he's the only way back into the Garden of Eden-like state. So this is just to let you know what's happening with the lamb sacrifice attempt up on the Temple Mount for 2023 Passover. And I just wanted to report this so you know what is really happening. I wouldn't be surprised if they do what they did last year and they set up that portable altar and they sacrificed a lamb kind of off to the side somewhere and then they brought it to that altar and burned it on the um, altar. So this is just letting you know what's happening. Please like, subscribe, and share, and please support my channel and my work. I thank you so much. God bless you, and please read about the true Lamb of God in the Almond Tree Aaron's Rod, the Messiah, King of Israel, my massive testimony about Messiah Yeshua for the last days. It will blow your socks off, and it's from OlivePressPublisher.com. Shalom for now, and if you want to support this channel, it's paypal.me slash kkrococo, and I thank you so much. I'm looking forward to Passover, and hopefully we will be taken out of here. I'm going to be looking for the night of watching, aren't you? That's Passover night, so be watching. Be opening the door for Elijah, and... Be remembering our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in the sacrifice that he gave of his own flesh so that we could have the reverse of death and have eternal life. All right, we'll have a nice day today. And look at my mom's beautiful rose for her birthday on March 29th, and it's looking so gorgeous. So I'm going to be checking into getting some matzah and maybe the uh, kosher Passover wine for the ceremony to remember Yeshua, our Messiah, with. See you later. Have a beautiful day.